everybody, and welcome into another episode of Talking Fitchburg. Berg, 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 Berg. It is October 20th, 2017, and I am here in the Chamber of Echoes. The chamber. Well, that was weird. Didn't echo that time. But echo, anyways, echo, echo. I digress. Maybe I'm turning into a duck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, of course, we all know the fun fact that a duck's quack does not echo. Believe it. Believe it, everybody. It's been tested. You all know. Right? You know that's, that, Andrew? I've heard that. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. It is a little crazy. <laughs> There's something going on within the duck's, I don't know, facial region that's uh, screwing it all up. It's just like wham. It is like wham. And that's it. It's a lot like wham. Wham. Uh, you know, like when you click something on your computer, it doesn't like it's yeah. all like wham wham. Just uh-huh. like that. Just like that. I wonder <laughs> if that noise echoes. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like a duck. Something maybe. to contemplate. If you have a cave, reach out to the show. Let us know. Uh, otherwise, it's me, it's Preston, hello, and uh, Andrew, you're here. Howdy. <laughs> Jeremy's not here. Jeremy's, he's Thinks out. he can just do whatever he want, but, yep. uh, well, well, I'll just leave that there. He's not here. We are. And uh, we're going to talk about the news today here on oh, yeah. Talking Pittsburgh. Of course, in the headlines section, well, frankly, yes. we have some headlines for you. Amazing. Yeah, believe it. Believe it. You heard it here first. I believe it. We have uh, some upcoming events to talk about, mostly uh, some cool news uh, about the rest area maintenance program, which you might not know about. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And then uh, just another cool thing about uh, the driver's license program. That's some cool news, too, coming out of Dane County. And then in the digest section, that's the second section of the show, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll recap the week that was. It's just in case you missed it here on Fridays. So we'll just bring back some headlines. <laughs> Getting all choked up about Got it. Got a little pepper in my throat. It's all right. I don't know what's going on. My uvula was attacked last night. I'll tell you about that later. Anyways, Ooh. in the digest, we'll bring back stories from throughout the week. Talk about them here today in case you missed it. Oh, yeah. That's why we named it that. Makes sense. There you go. And it does make a lot of sense. Boom. And then in the guest segment, Jeremy's yeah. coming back, uh, and he'll be talking to Lieutenant Chad Brecklin of the Fitchburg Police Department. Whoop, whoop. It's always a good, uh, good to hear from him. He always has lots of information, lots of things, of course, going on down there in the old public safety arenas, as it were. Oh, yeah. I'm doing this because he's got it all covered. He's got it all He's all over it. Covered. It's like this. <laughs> okay. So there you go. That was on the show today. That's usually the way we start. Uh, the thing after telling you what's going to be on the show is then we tell you the stuff that's on the show. So let me tell you the first news story. Friends of the Fitchburg Library's used book sale. That's right. It's kicking off today at noon, folks. That's right. Get your bags ready. Get on over there to the library by noon. I'm telling you because there is going to be a line forming. So you want first picks. Uh, you're going to want to get there early. Uh, of course, there are tons and tons of books, so no worries, they're not going to run out. But uh, yeah, they have a wide variety of fiction, nonfiction, mystery, children's, and audio books, of course, all at low prices. Money does go to support the Fitchburg uh, Library programming, uh, which is super awesome. And of course, it continues as well tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Fitchburg Public Library. So get over there, find some good reads. You know, I've been saying it, this is a good way to get some gifts knocked maybe off the list this year if you're in that mode right now as i know a lot of people are so there you go check that out and then here's a cool uh, upcoming program it's called navigating the maze of senior housing options so get your calendars out this is gonna be on october 25th from 10 a.m to 11 a.m it says here navigating the maze of senior housing options is a free seminar uh for october 25th this program is presented by independent living inc it will address the various types of senior housing uh, and the services that may or may not be available with each type. Examples of senior housing in the greater Madison area will be described. The presentation will be hosted at the Gardens. Uh, that's an independent senior living community at 602 North Seago Road in Madison. Uh, light brunch is included. Registration is requested. So please go ahead and give them a call at 204-0900 to RSVP. And that will be very uh, enlightening as it were and there's a chance that we'll be out there covering this one as well there's a chance don't hold me to that but i'll let you know if we do don't let me forget right in thank you all right the great halloween hunt we do this every year it's a fantastic program coming from the fitchburg public Li- fitchburg public library yet again it's friday my mouth's taking an early vacation 
So here we go. This is the ninth annual Great Halloween Hunt. It's a free event for all ages. It includes a scavenger hunt, crafts, games, a movie, and balloon twisters. Treats and entertainment are also featured. You can go over to the Fitchburg Public Library website if you want to find out more, but this will be on Saturday, October 28th from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at the Fitchburg Public Library. We will be over there taking pictures, you know, going around doing our normal video thing. We'll have a coloring station, of course, again, for you to set up. Uh, so come on out, get a picture taken with the kids in their costumes. You can dress up as well. We, we encourage it, we welcome it, we'll be dressed up. It's a fun time, get to know everybody, get to kind of check out the library. Uh, so come on out for that, for sure. Now, flipping over to a uh, more serious topic. If you are um, a member of the Tower Hill neighborhood, there's a meeting coming up that you will want to attend. Uh, so Alder Dan Barr and Alder Julia Arata Frata are hosting a Tower Hill neighborhood meeting on Wednesday, November 1st at the Fitchburg Public Library to discuss how to distribute the funds collected among neighbors affected by the house explosion. Uh, the meeting will be held uh, beginning at 7 p.m. in the meeting room of the Fitchburg Public Library, and questions can be directed to Alder Barr. Uh, you can call him here at 225-3020 or Alder Arata Frata at 698-6256 if you have any questions prior to or I imagine after uh, said meeting. So there you go. Make sure you get that down if you are in the area. So there you go. Okay, and then this is some cool news is coming from the Wisconsin DOT. Uh, it says here, Lieutenant Governor Clayfish recognizes rest area maintenance workers, 30 year anniversary of rest area maintenance program workers slash the 30 year old partnership uh, that plays a vital role in public safety, tourism, and the quality of life here. So uh, quickly, the story here is that uh, during a visit to rest area 10 near Mawson, uh, Wisconsin Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish recognized workers associated with the state's 30 year old rest area maintenance program. Since 1987, the RAM program, which stands for rest area maintenance, uh, has provided employment opportunities to workers with disabilities who enhance uh, public safety and the state's tourism industry by handling maintenance duties at Wisconsin's 30 rest areas and 13 safety and weight enforcement facilities. Earlier this year, uh, Governor Scott Walker issued an official uh, accommodation of the RAM program anniversary. So cool little program that you may not even know existed, but those folks are out there maintaining those little rest stops and it's a very important thing. So. Thank you to all the people that do that, and congratulations on 30 years of the program. Very cool. Very nice. I've been to lots of those rest areas, I must say. Done a lot yes. of driving around the state here. So there you go. Check it out. Speaking of driving around the state, great segue, Preston. Thank you, Preston. Uh, Dane County is ex has expanded their driver's license program to six more school districts. So here you go. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi announced he is partnering with six school districts to expand his Access to Opportunity initiative and help teenagers who otherwise could not afford driver's education an opportunity to earn their license. Parisi started the program in the Madison School District in the summer of 2015, helping 100 young people earn a year each year earn their driver's license without their family having to worry about how to afford the more than $400 price tag of the course. Now the program is being expanded to six more schools in Dane County with 119 more students getting into a class that they might not have been able to afford. School districts of Deerfield, DeForest, Marshall, McFarland, Middleton Cross Plains, and Verona are all joining the Dane County's driver's license program. So about 20 students from each of those schools will be there. Uh, very cool, very uh, crucial. I mean, getting your driver's license, that's a big deal. We all know. Uh, and now more people are able to do it and taking away those financial barriers. Good stuff. I'm a big fan. So there you go. Uh, that is your headlines for this Friday, uh, October 20th, episode of Talking Fitchburg. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk about the week that we've had here on Talking Fitchburg in just in case you missed it. So stick around.